Hey guys, this is Frank, and welcome to RC Foam Fighters. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at part one of the build of my Skyfighter V3. Um, this is the plane that I'm going to be entering in the fastest foam playing challenge, um, the Unlimited class on RC groups. Um, let's go ahead and see how the build is going. Okay guys, as you can see, I got the main portions of the plane already put together, um, but let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at things. So this is uh, basically how the plane is going to look, uh, minus the fuselage that I haven't made yet. Um, I still need to make the slots for the battery, the speed controller, and the radio gear. Um, I'm still waiting on parts. Um, I haven't gotten my other speed controller yet. This is still the burnt up one. Um, I should be getting them the parts that I need later this week, so hopefully next weekend. I should be able to finish up the plane or get really close to getting it finished. Um, everything is built according to the specifications of the speed challenge. Um, the plane is all foam with the exception of balsa wood uh, control surfaces. Even the rear stabilizers are made out of EPP. The whole plane is pretty much covered in Henry style fiberglass weave. Uh, the wing has a double layer on the top and the bottom. And there is a single uh, wooden spar that's 24 inches long. Um, it's 3 8 by 3 8 of an inch. Um, the bottom piece of the foam is the black EPP, which is the denser EPP. I used a 1.9 EPP on the bottom um, to make it a little bit more rigid underneath um, because this is going to be the main support for the battery after I uh, cut out the slot where the battery goes and I wanted to make sure that I'd be able to handle the weight. Uh, the rear stabilizers are just temporarily tacked on with hot glue right now. Um, they are kind of pretty flexy so I may put a second layer of the fiberglass weave on them um, in a crisscrossed pattern and that usually stiffens things up quite a bit. Um, other than that I will be uh, covering the complete plane in uh, colored sealing tape, or as people, some people know it as, uh, packing tape. Um, it will be getting th pretty much the same color scheme as my version 2 had, which will be all black with very bright orange on the top and some checkered stripes on the bottom. Well, that pretty much uh, covers this part of the build. Um, like I said, I'm just waiting on parts to finish up. I need to get my servos as well and the speed controller, and then I can finish putting the plane together. So hopefully this stuff will show up uh, later this week, and I can get it all together this next weekend. And uh, if the weather permits, we can probably get out and do some test flying. This is uh, definitely going to be a Herman Airport uh, plane. So I'm hoping, like I said, to break 170 miles an hour with this plane in this setup. Anyway, wish me luck, guys, and I'll see you guys again soon. 
Thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters. Hey guys, one last thing before we go. Um, please don't forget to sign up for this month's free drawing giveaway. There's information on RC Foam Fighters blog and I'll put a link in the video sidebar. Thanks again for watching RC Foam Fighters.